seasoned observers will tell you, write Arsenal off at your peril. It wasn't until after Christmas last year that Arsene Wenger's side began their championship charge. This season they've been struggling, not helped by the amount of injuries they've sustained. The latest of which is David Seaman, who damaged a shoulder ligament in training. That meant a third start for Alex Manninger this season. He played in goal behind a back four shorn of Tony Adams and Nigel Winterburn. But for all the disruption, the Gunners still have the best defensive record in the division. Arsenal's former defender David O'Leary made his debut for the Gunners at 17. Maybe that's why he's now happy to try out the talented youngsters at his disposal as Leeds manager. But his side were without the influential Lucas Radebe, who twisted a knee against Coventry last week, and also David Batty, who missed out with bruised ribs. Leeds came to Highbury on a good run. Arsenal knew that for all their problems, a win would keep them well in touch at the top. Your commentator, Alan Farrell. Dennis Bergkamp has given it away. Haller finding Hasselbank. We've got a shot in really impressively there. It was a long way out and we had no uh, run up to the ball at all. Hit it from a standing position and hit it very well. A great skill from Overmars. The crowd loved that. And they thought he should have had a free kick then. Oh yeah. Not a bad 
Oh, Kuehl on the end of it. Hasselbank, what a brilliant strike by Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. And Leeds most certainly are back in it now. He hit that beautifully. That's six in the last seven Premiership matches now for the Dutchman. And this must be one of the best of all of them. Beautifully hit. His tenth goal of the season. He found the merest of gaps between Manninger and the post. And he hit it with such force the goalkeeper had no hope. And O'Leary back on his old ground celebrates. That's a great little ball there by Hasselbank and Leeds. They're very threatening for a moment then until Vivas nipped in to win it back and find Bergkamp. Petit. It's a goal. Emmanuel Petit seals his return with a goal. Leeds complain again that there should have been an offside in their favour. But Petit has found the net and Arsenal surely now are home and dry. Leeds losing possession in what looked a good attack for them initially. And Arsenal who counter-attack with such speed and venom do so again. And Petit's finish deadly. Lovely ball as well from Bergkamp. himself straight into a confrontation here with the other substitute Grimondi and it's a red card a red card for the Arsenal man the first foul there was by Smith who then pushed him as well now let's see what happened after that yes Grimondi lost his cool lost his temper used his head against the young Leeds United substitute and has paid the ultimate price and Grimondi makes that long slow journey back to the dressing room and Arsenal's disciplinary problems continue to mount and uh, it wasn't a bad effort either by heart but in fact I think Manninger always had it covered you could see uh, that Petit returning and GI it, uh, it is different in our game we have much more better balance and uh, we are much more dangerous by, and can keep the ball better. That's why uh, it changes our game as well. I was delighted in many, many ways the way we passed the ball. Um, I didn't think we deserved to go in a half time 1-0 um, down. I think we should have scored before they scored. And I'm not, I don't like, I had a go at them for playing offside stupid ones, but I thought it was offside the first goal, without a doubt. Disappointed with the third goal because uh, we tried to play stupid offside there. Uh, when really we could have gone, we, went the other end and uh, made it, could have made it 2-2. But I was pleased with a lot of the play. So Chelsea on top in England for the first time in a decade. Manchester United have won just one of their last nine in League and Cup. Even West Ham in seventh are only four points off the top. Nottingham Forest sink to the bottom after 